Hey there guys, Slyfox Kenya here with the first episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. So, I know you guys have been hearing me drone on and on and on and on and on about Final Fantasy IX and then Final Fantasy XII. Well, the Final Fantasy XII remaster for the PS4 is finally here. Well, let me just look finally, there we go. So, um, this is another one of those games that I absolutely adore. The story is amazing, the gameplay is great. Um, and apparently they've changed a couple things about the gameplay, so I want to make sure that I can make this as close to the old school Final Fantasy XII as possible while still enjoying the new things that they've fixed, right? So, yes, we want vibration on. Yes, we want screen shake on. Seizure warning! Yes, we want subtitles on. I don't need to speed, but most part, I don't care. Ooh. We can go reorchestrated, why not? There we go. Cool! Let's start the game! But yeah, I am absolutely in love with this game, but I'll get out of frame so you guys can enjoy the fullness of it. In the name of the Father, and in the presence of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Father. Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalbano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy.
Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Pharaoh. Okay, so I don't know how much of that opening cinematic was actually new because I don't remember a lot of Rasla it. Heos oh, so quiet for a was second was but again. one of many tragedies to befall the kingdom of Dalmaska. This I do remember. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon mete out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbina Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon. For a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and written royal blood. Dun dun dun. Sad but true. Alright, and we get our first taste of gameplay, although we're still not really into the game yet. So. Can you hear me? We'll just keep that in mind. Yes, I can hear you. It's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Oh, not all of us are here for love of battle. 
He fights to defend his homeland. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? Got your ass, I can stand. I can stand. I can fight! Right? Think you can fight? Yes. I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. A little bit young. Young. Family? Fighting for My brother country. is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Kill them! Go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. I like the side salute too. Dude, you guys know who you're messing with. This is freaking Bosch, okay? He's gonna cut you down like you're nothing. Cut them down! All <sighs> time at power. Not quite. Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move. Hopefully. <laughs> Again, this is one of those games that I have seen the end of, but I don't have nearly the knowledge of it that I do of Final Fantasy IX, so. Yes, I, I'm, I'm aware of how to look around. Thank you for the tutorial. I love the mini-map on this game, though. It's probably one of my favorite mini-maps. Mini -maps. Yes, I can talk to you. There you go. Oh, I have to do... Okay, I got it. Let's, let's go. What's your backstory, soldier? Don't throw it away. Save the stories for your brother. Yes, I. We, we get it. Can we skip the tutorial, please? He's only got 135 HP. This poor kid. Yes, I'm being targeted, I'm, I'm aware. Ow. So, there's a really fun trick to this game, um, and that's if you wait until your action bar is full, you can always guarantee to get a strike in. Now, sometimes the enemy will kill you first if they can do a lot more damage than you, but it is a fun way to get around the... Uh, ATB kind of Captain. feeling as if you strike and run and strike and run. Hey, look, it's a zoomy zoom. He's gonna come down here and try to kill our faces. But I won't let it. I have the power of Dalmasca in me. Ow. <laughs> That's a little bit harder than I meant to. <laughs> Oops. I do have thunder. Cast thunder on Air Cutter Amora. Do that again. And then cue it again. I do like the fact that you can cue things too. Because it makes life a lot easier. Um, gambits are even better. Once, once you. Ow! Um, once you get a little bit later in the game, you'll see what I mean about gambits. They are super, super useful, and they're essentially programming. Um, for the game. Like, you can program your character's actions, and it's pretty freaking cool, actually. I've always really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air Cutter Remora, will you just die already? Like, you're annoying. Just die. Fall, fall to the ground, die. And I'm out of empty. Cool. Um. 
Oh, so apparently we only have to kill half of his HP? Okay, whatever. Um, but once we get to Gambit, I'll explain them further, but they are super cool, because you can program your character's actions with, like, if-then-else statements. Oh, Bosch is just gonna go hamble it. Okay, gotcha. Ah, oh, the shuffling in this game. So the limit breaks you can actually shuffle through, and it's really cool, like, but we'll see all that later. I just, I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. I'm sorry. I, just, I love the mechanics in this game. Well fought. My thanks, Ant Lion. Tonberry disengaging. Well fought. You lost. And you lost bad. And now you about to die. Oh, our guy's about to die too. Auto attack! Auto attack! Kill them all! Die by the blade of my sword. 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 <laughs> yeah. So that's the full map. That's the big map. Yeah. Full map is nice. The only caveat about that though is it gets really annoying having it on screen all the time. Bossler! Where are you? You'll actually see me toggle what if between that one a lot. Fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vossler's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Sure. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex. You would think the enemy would have raised an alarm by now. Ooh, that's what I would have thought. Yeah. Because if they really are... Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. I guess I'm losing my mind. If there really are people storming this castle during this peace treaty signing, like, honestly, you, you, would, you would sound the alarm. You wouldn't just let them walk in. Retreat may be the wiser course, but I'm still gonna kick your ass. Because I can. And because it's fun. But again, because Rex is not a super paramount person. Come on, gather up. That's the only thing about fleeing, is that it's an easy way to get everything together. So, like, if somebody's off fighting something and you start fleeing, everyone will huddle up to leave. So, if somebody is about to die, you can get them from prevent them from dying by fleeing at the right time. Yes. No, no, no. Thank you. Save Crystal. Save your game! I need to look at the trophies for this game that I think about it, because it's a PS4 game, so it should have trophies. I, I love old games that come back that actually have trophies, because I do a lot of crap in these games anyway. When I have trophies, I have goals to meet, and so I... Because I try to platinum every game I play, right? It doesn't always happen, but I try to do it. Intruders! Don't let them escape! Don't let your mom escape. Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. Go. I'll handle Go. these. Go. The boy will fight. fight the boy well. will win. The boy being me. And as you notice, they're a lot weaker. There's one down. And see, that's what I mean, like, you see how you can kind of, you can pull them away so that only one of them can actually hit you? All three of them were ready to attack me, but only one of them could actually hit me because I was too far away. That's the kind of stuff that you have to do in this game sometimes to make sure that characters can stay alive longer. Now, in boss fights, it doesn't necessarily work so well. But in everything else, like, you have to look at the tactics of, alright, who can you keep alive and who's gonna end up getting their face mushed in if they stick around too long. Everybody's dead. 
Imagine being 17 years old though and you walk into a room to see literally all of the allies that you came here with lying on the ground, dead. Like, I'd piss my pants. I would. I would shit myself right there because that's terrifying and really sad. Like, that's just horrible. I feel so bad for this guy. Kid. Child. Rex. And of course his majesty is dead as well. Your majesty. <laughs> Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Damasca to the Empire. His majesty was a traitor. God damn it. Captain, I... God damn it. I hate when people die like that. Seize the insurgent. Hello? <sighs> <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. Oh, Bosh. But, but the war, war is over, my dear captain. It's so sad. Lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. Yeah, F that. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty, out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? Poor Rex. We will never bow to you. <clears throat> and the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the Captain away. <laughs> Off you go. Off you go. Little side conversations always make make me laugh. Oh, look, trophy. La di da. So there we go. We got our first trophy. So I guess that answers the question of what I said before about there being trophies in this game. Bon. And his last thought is of his brother. How oh, sweet. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms, raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas. Ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer, too, for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. It really is sad that the actions of one person can just fuck shit up like that and ruin, essentially ruin what could have been a peaceful surrender for everybody. But, tis the way of the world. Yeah. Ugly rats. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. Alright, time to clean I love how their eyes glow. Alright, let's pause right there. I'm gonna end this episode here. <clears throat> I don't want to drag these on too long. I want to do try to keep them at a half hour so we don't get into these over long episodes. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'm really excited to be getting into Final Fantasy XII. Like, I've been waiting for this game for so long. Like, you guys have no idea. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. And look forward to the next episode of Final Fantasy XII. Remember, through gaming, we can change the world. Sly Fox out.